Okay, let's assume I just got an email from a client. They're asking if we at Lathesville Cutting Room here in Berlin can cut this piece of music on Master Lacquer for 7-inch production for Record Store Day. They are running out of time. They need to get the answer as soon as possible. But I'm not in the cutting room at the moment, I'm at home. So what I do is I load it in my DAW and give it a look and give it a listen and see what I can do to answer the question of the customer. You only see what your eyes want to see. How can life be what you want it to be? You're frozen when your heart's not open. What I hear is a very delicate beginning and a large wide stereo effect popping out here. I see upcoming louder parts, more dynamic parts. And I also see that the whole side is more than six minutes long. So the answer to the question, if we can do it, will not be easy to find. I need assistance here. I need help and guidance. I need some sort of flight simulator that can perform exactly as the hardware in the cutting room can to tell me what will happen if I play this through my lathe onto a master lacquer. And this simulator is here. Tokyo Dawn Labs Simulate Virtual Master Cut Audio Plugin. And you should know I suffer the same if I lose you. My heart will be broken. Love is a bird, she needs to fly. You just saw me dial in the values that I gained uh, calibrating both machines, the one in the cutting room and the one here at home on my computer to perform identically. And uh, what I need to do now is I watch disk usage were way up 155% of space consumption, I dial in for this individual cut, more economic values for width and land, and I decide I want to use the dynamic land control function of my real lathe, and I'm down to 130%. That is good. However, to make it fit, I need to go down with level. Here we are. 96%. I go back to the customer and give them the answer. Yes, we can do it. It's not going to be the loudest cut ever on this planet, but it will be good and safe. So the customer is happy and tells us to proceed with preparing and cutting, please. So I watch the meters. And I am a little concerned what I see here. <laughs> 200 microns width. So I want to make a test here and inspect it in the microscope. Womb number one. Womb number two. And womb number three. Let us have a look. I go to these 200 mic. Oh my goodness. We will get a lot of problem in metalwork if we send out a lacquer like this. Let us dial in a high pass and an elliptical filter and make another test cut. Womb number one. Womb number two. The meters are a lot better now. Womb number three, and let's inspect. Ah, uh -huh. we're down to 103 microns. Oh, no issue here, and no issue here, and no issue there. 
I would say the problem is solved. However, I want to make sure that we are not getting anything above 100 microns. So I dial in a width limiter and I want to see what is going on here at the very end. Oh, with my velocity. I see values of as little as 37.2 centimeters per second. That's great. I love it. However, just for safety, I dial in this limiter. It limits to the 38.5 centimeters per second my cutter head can easily handle. What I see, however, and what I also heard is that this guy here is digging in really hard and I don't know if I like it but I want to decide when I listen to the big cut oh I get a little bit of distortion here compared to the input Maybe I need to go down with cutting level minus five or even Whoopa, here you go minus six That is releasing my limiters here and I'm also staying outside of the very last piece of the record usage is 88.2% that is good. So I think I can render it and just go out tonight to the cutting room and cut this. 